likely to insert a chart that gives you a plot of fx and versus theta and fy versus theta. Okay, so you know it takes me a while to figure these things out in Excel because I'm usually a MATLAB user when it comes to making charts and graphs and those kind of things. But you know you need to be able to figure this out even if it means looking things up or looking at Google, Googling uh, YouTube videos on how to run Excel. All right, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to start uh, inserting charts, and it's good to have a certain base knowledge. One of the things that I remember, because I've done this enough to, to remember, is that when you want to insert a chart that has a plot of um, basically an X versus a Y, then that's a scatter plot, not a line plot. You would think it makes lines, but that's true, but it's a scatter plot. All right, so you'll need to know that. that that's actually an exam question. You know, when I ask how you plot X versus Y in Excel, the answer is scatter plot. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go uh, to our menus where you can insert something. All right, so I hit insert. And again, this is Excel for a Mac and it might look different on a Windows machine, but you look for these types of icons. This is giving you a bar chart, okay? This is some kind of pie chart or tree map or whatever. So we search through here and uh, scatter plots, that's what we're looking for. Okay, so for scatter plot, I'm looking at putting both the data points and connecting them with lines. So uh, I select this. I usually connect everything with straight lines uh, and try to sample it close enough to where the straight lines give it a good look. All right. I think you could try this one as well. It would probably work. All right. So I, well, before I do that, let me select my data. And so I'm going to put the data in here and I'm going to select all the data. All right. It turns out I don't want to plot all the data, but I just wanted to show you what happens when you do that. Okay, so I select all the data, and then I go back to the insert menu, and then scatter plot. All right, so cool. It gives me a lot of things, and it gets me pretty close pretty quickly. All right, so I'm looking at this, and <clears throat> what I'm wanting is, I look at this index. It says X and Y. That's what I want, okay? And it looks like I've chosen the x-axis to be you know, it's reading this first axis in purple. This shows you, it gives you a, a graphical representation of what it's doing. This purple shading shows you it's the x-axis and the rest are the curves that are associated with the other columns of data, all right? So we don't want uh, this column because that's just converting uh, degrees to radians. That's what this blue line is. And we also don't want this last column Okay, because that gives me the constant at the top. Now, you see column B is between columns C and D, so it would have been hard to select, you know, just these three columns unless you are good at running the, you know, the selection tools in, in Excel. So I think it's easier just to select everything, put up the chart, and then you come here and you can hit delete and get rid of um, the ones you don't want. So I'm clicking on that. Hit the delete button, it's gone. It gives me what I'm wanting. Okay, so that's the first tip. All right, the next tip is, and this is where I get fuzzy on Excel because I don't use it enough. <clears throat> and as you upgrade different versions of Excel and you work on a, a PC, which I sometimes do, and you work on a Mac, which I usually do, the menus often look a little bit different. And I also find YouTube a little frustrating because older versions of Excel have slightly different ways of handling the menus. So you just have to keep that in mind that, uh, you know, I found this video telling me how to do this thing on Excel. Maybe it's the wrong version of Excel. Maybe it's for Windows. Maybe it's for a Mac. You just have to keep that in mind and try to get the basic idea. Generally, if there's a, a menu choice, you know, it, it's across, it works across all versions of Excel and all um, 
operating systems, either Mac or Windows. By that I mean um, insert, right? You, you look for insert and then you select the chart type. I think, I think all versions of Excel are going to start giving you recommendations on what you want your chart to look like. Okay, so maybe you, you check one of these and see, uh, is that the look I want? How about this? How about this? Okay, so you, you can check on those different types. And then there's also, on my version of Excel, there's a quick layout so you can try to get close. All right, so if I clicked on this, let me do that again. I went from, I think, here, and notice what happens. I get, if I choose that first option, I get a chart title and I get an axis, axis labels. Okay, so I experiment with that and see if I can get close to what I'm wanting. Okay, but let's say, you know, I couldn't find exactly what I want. So let's go back to here. You can add different chart elements from another menu. All right, it might be a different looking menu on your version of Excel, but let's say I wanted to add a chart element. I'm thinking, ah, oh, wouldn't it be nice if I had, um, let's see. I was thinking title, but um, primary, yeah, title of um, the horizontal axis. Okay, so I click that, and you see that that menu choice showing up. Okay, wouldn't it be nice if I had a chart title, so I could put this in different places? Maybe I want to put it above the chart. There we go. So you can still customize it. You can go to the quick layout, try to get close. Um, you know, maybe that's what I would do since this one looked really pretty close to what we want. And then from there, I can edit this um, title to what I want. I can edit this x-axis to what I want. Okay, so maybe this would be um, degrees or theta in degrees. All right, so you get the idea. Uh, you play around with this and you get the, the look and feel that you want with your plot. Okay, so hopefully this walkthrough helps you and you can uh, put the answer to this one, to this problem on one of the tabs in your spreadsheet. You know, so this might be your part two tab. Uh, you would append that together with your part one tab, so part one. You know, I don't, I don't have it with the spreadsheet, but you're going to want everything turned in together and just all the answers on different tabs. Okay, so that's it for that walkthrough. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.